Hi, Glenn Coleman with Glenn's Gourmet Goodies. Uh, we're cooking with white barbecue sauce, and today we're going to do one of my absolute favorites. Um, white barbecue sauce, let me point out, though it is a barbecue sauce, it's the only barbecue sauce that's not a barbecue sauce. We say that right on the bottle. Um, you can cook with it, you can marinate with it, you can baste with it, you can grill with it. When you cook with it on the grill, it doesn't burn because there is no sugar in it. I think it's about the only sauce out there that you can say that with. Today we're going to do something a lot of fun. These are going to be biscuits that we're going to make with the white barbecue sauce. We're going to make a chipotle cheddar cheese biscuit. When you make a biscuit, a very southern style biscuit, you're using basically nothing more than buttermilk, shortening, and self-rising flour. The key is the self-rising flour. Um, so we're putting the buttermilk in here, and then we're going to, as you've seen on my other cooking episodes, careful measuring is the key to it. Instead of shortening, we're using the chipotle white barbecue sauce. Now, white barbecue sauce is basically mayonnaise, vinegar, lemon, salt, and pepper. Uh, and mayonnaise is 90-something percent oil. So we're using this instead of our oil uh, to make our biscuits. And once again, God gave us these great mixing tools, so we're using our hands to mix with. Uh, if you've got to use a spoon, um, you, you really need to go in for therapy because uh, that's, that's wimp cooking. You, you need to get your hands down in here and, and, as we say, gush it up because that's the best part of cooking right there. So we're going to mix this up, and then we're going to cut them out and put them on the pan. We're going to mix some sharp cheddar cheese in here. And uh, if, if you just stick around with us for a minute and come back, we'll, we'll be a little bit further along. Okay, you'll notice that the dough that we're using is very wet. Uh, we're not making um, shortbread. We're not going to knead the dough. We want to work it as little as possible. You want it as wet as you can possibly get it. Uh, again, careful measuring. We're going to put in about a cup of uh, a sharp cheddar cheese, and we're going to mix this in with our chipotle, our self-rising flour, and our buttermilk. Uh, once again, we don't want to overwork it. We just want to make sure we've got it mixed in. And then we want to add some flour to our cutting board, our work table where we're working right here. And it takes a fair amount of flour so it doesn't stick. And then we're just going to work all this out onto the board. You're getting a nice shot of the back of the bowl there, aren't you? It's important. Everybody needs a good shot of the back of the bowl. You can see all the cheese in there getting nice and thick. And we're just going to work this once again as little as we possibly can. If, if you were making bread, you would want to uh, knead this and get the glutens moving around in there, get the elasticity. But we want these biscuits light and fluffy and flaky, so we're going to work it as little as possible. If you don't mind, I think I'm going to go wash my hands. Okay, we've got our flour pressed out. Notice we've got it about uh, half, three quarters of an inch thick, and we're going to use a very high-tech cutting tool to cut these biscuits out. It's called a glass. I, I imagine you probably have one in your cabinet at home. The key to using the glass, though, is to make sure you don't get a complete round. If I was to cut right here, there would be no place for the air to go, so you always try and get a little bit of an overlap so there's a place for the, for the air to go. And you want to handle your biscuits. Uh, you see how it poofed up there? That's because I didn't have any place for the air to go. You want to handle your biscuits very carefully because they're really going to be fragile. If you were, if you'll notice, they will literally pull apart on me if I wasn't to be careful with them. We actually want to have them touching each other on the cookie sheet or the baking pan. And if you want to do it right, if you want to be a real southerner about it, you want to cook them in a cast iron skillet or a cast iron baker. Uh, a baker's like a cast iron flat pan. And uh, if you don't have one, I highly recommend going to the hardware store and getting one. Uh, they're tremendous. Cook your biscuits on them. Cook your uh, pancakes. Um, cook steaks on them. Uh, they're just a, a tremendous product. We're going to do one more here, see if we can get one more out of this. Of course, I would take the time to do the rest of these, but uh, when you're paying for these cameras by the hour, you know, you got to keep moving. So we're going to put these in an oven. I'm cooking in a fairly hot oven. We got it at 425 degrees. So come back in just a minute. We'll see what they look like. Well, we didn't forget about you. We've just been waiting for the biscuits to cook. And they'll take 8, 10, 12 minutes, depending on how hot your oven is and how evenly it cooks. 
Normally, I'm going to top the biscuits with a little bit of melted butter. Um, but in my rush to get down here, I forgot my butter. So we're going to top them with some chipotle sauce. And basically what you're doing is you're just brushing it on to remove the, the um, flour that's on the biscuit. If you notice the flour's right here, we're going to just pull some of that off and uh, give it a nice little color when it bakes. We're going to do half of them so you can see how they look after they come out of the oven. It'll take about another two minutes and, that, and they'll be done. All right, our biscuits are out of the oven and uh, I think we have some willing guinea pigs, do we guys? Do we? You want to come over and try some biscuits? As you can see, we don't have any flour color left on these on this side. These we've left off, so if they're wimps, they don't have to worry about them. Um, there you go, Pat. Just grab one and try it. Yeah. Carlos, there's a spicy one for you. Take, try that. Anyway, we made the biscuits with uh, chipotle white barbecue sauce instead of using oil. Are they okay? Oh wow. Looked out again. All right. Yes. Anyway, Glenn Coleman, thank you for being with us. Cook with white barbecue sauce. We have a chipotle wasabi and our original white barbecue sauce. Feel free to write us, send us an email. If you got some recipes, send them in to us and we'll send you a t-shirt with Hubert the Pig on it. Thanks again. This is Glenn Coleman with Glenn's Gourmet Goodies, white barbecue sauce.